pretty cold outside and all I want to do is have a nice cup of tea. Today I'm going to show you how to make masala chai tea. Now when you say chai, in India chai means tea. So basically chai and tea are the same thing. But when we say chai tea, it's actually tea which has a little bit of milk in it. And when I say masala chai tea, it's tea, chai tea with large aromatic spices and it's so good. And as you can tell, my throat is kind of getting hurt and we need to fix this and masala chai tea really helps. So let me take you into my kitchen and show you how to make it. I'm not going to use any fancy gadgets but just plain old pot. In my pot here I'm going to add 3 4 cups of water. Now normally it's like 3 4 cups of water and 1 4 cup of milk to make chai tea. My brother likes half water, half milk but it's like very milky tea. So you can play with water and milk as per your preference. In my pot here I have 3 4 cups of water and I'm going to add just a wee bit more like 1 4 cup more because I'm going to brew some spices in this. 1 4 cup more water and in this water go ahead and add half a tablespoon of fennel seeds that's some. 2 cloves, black cloves, they give that nice sharpness to the tea, cinnamon for a little sweetness and one green cardamom. Open this green cardamom and add it in and we'll put it on high so that everything gets incorporated nicely, water comes to a boil and next thing I'm going to add is one tablespoon of ginger, ginger because it really really helps your throat so but of course if you don't have cold you can do without ginger as well. I'm just gonna stir my fennel seeds everything in. Now while my spices are brewing, let me tell you about different teas that I love to have. So today I'm going to use a regular Tutli tea because one is good for me for one cup. But my other favorite tea to have is Tetley chai tea. This is so good because I don't have to add any aromatic spices. It already has everything like cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, ginger. It already has everything. So it's blend of everything. So if you don't want to add all these spices separately, you can always use this chai tea. In the morning to wake me up, I love using Tazo Awake Black Tea. Really good. Gives you a good kick in the morning. And for special occasions when I have guests over, I like to make Ahmed cardamom tea because it has a very good flavor. So if you like that flavor of fennel seeds, cardamom, try this one. You can get it from Home Sense here in Canada. For a regular tea, you can always use Earl's Grady. I love using this as well. So once in a while, I'll have this. Now, as far as the sweetness is concerned, in my tea, I like to use honey because I don't want too much sugar. But today I'm going to use a little piece of jaggery so not too much just like you know small piece like an inch my mom used to add it in tea when we used to have cold and stuff so for example when you are eating nuts have a piece of jaggery with it so that those nuts don't make your uh, throat coarse and dry you can see jaggery has completely melted now we'll go ahead and add our tea packet now because I don't like very strong tea. I'm going to go ahead and add my milk along with the tea bag right away. So one third cup of milk and we'll bring milk to a boil and after that you can choose to brew it longer to have a stronger flavor. Tea has come to a boil. I think I'm good. I'm gonna put it in a cup and enjoy it. All right so just pouring my tea in. Spices remain out in the pot. Mmm, so hot but I do want to drink it. Ah, perfect cup of tea. Please, please, please do tell me about your favorite kind of tea. Keep watching Eat East Indian channel because I'm going to bring around many more exciting recipes.